Okay, today we're going to delve a little deeper into the TZT3 and TZT2. This is a nice function here and what we can do with the track recording on it. So when I tap on the track, I can select my colour to either be fixed or variable. Um, in the menu here, I go to settings and I can go to ship and track and come down to my track. I'm going to go here to variable colour setup. Um, what I'm going to show you today is sea surface temperature variation, but you can do it by depth, you can set a specific range that you want to show it, you can do it by speed, by bottom discrimination if the sound has got that built in. So we're going to go by sea surface temperature variation, and I can set the steps. So I can select it to change for about 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.5, 1 degree, 2 degrees Celsius, uh, and what colours I want to change for that step. So I've just got it set on the most uh, lowest resolution one here, sorry, highest resolution at 0.1 number degree. And we can see here on the track, now it's changing colour um, when my sea surface temperature is changing. So if I bring out my data box from the left, I've got here my SST, 16.33, 0 0.50, so we're increasing, 0 0.6, 0 0.64, you can see it's getting warmer, going through the colours, going through that whole colour palette uh, to try and find where those breaks are. Another option I've got on my fish finder side is I can actually bring, swipe up from the bottom here and bring on my temperature graph. And that's actually going to overlay the graph here as real time uh, as we go over it. So for finding warm spots, hot spots when you're game fishing, absolutely invaluable to be able to go back and see exactly where's warm uh, and where's cold. Thanks guys.